here on KXA News at 10 o'clock, a very different scene than last night. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. I'm Shannon Wolfson. Just 24 hours ago, we were following the effort to rescue someone tubing in the Greenbelt. She was swept inside the bypass tunnel at Barton Springs Pool. Today, the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office identified her as Leah Durrett of Austin. And because of the added rain today, emergency officials are increasingly worried for those people hitting the lakes and streams where fire departments are already banning access for their own safety. Aaron Cargyle starts our coverage live on Lake Austin, where crews are keeping a careful watch. Aaron. Shannon, things are rocking and rolling out here at Tom Miller Dam tonight. Three floodgates are still open behind me. Now it looks calm here on the Lake Austin side, but you're about to see video from the other side of this concrete and get a better understanding of the strong current. One precious life already lost on a local creek. 34-year-old Leah Durrett swept away while tubing with friends along the Greenbelt. A beautiful but deadly place after a good rain. It can take you away in just uh, a quick second. While there is no ban in place on rushing rivers or creeks, you will likely meet Officer John O'Donnell if you touch Ladybird Lake or Lake Austin. The water is literally moving 20 miles an hour, which it doesn't look that fast when you're looking at it, but it's, uh, it, does, it does crazy things. This is the reason why water being released at the dams is creating a strong current. That's yeah, very deceiving. The water looks nice. It may look calm on the surface, but as soon as you enter the water, it's going to immediately take you downstream. With the water comes debris like logs, trash, and tree branches. So when the ban is lifted, boaters still need to beware. You probably don't want to be operating at full speed or pulling any tubers, wakeboards, skiers behind the boat at first just because all that debris that's in the water needs to have time to settle. And so far so good. Police tell me they only had to tell one group yesterday to get off the water. They start out nice with just a warning, but they can write tickets. As of right now, the watercraft ban is still set to expire at noon tomorrow. We'll of course let you know if that changes. Live on Lake Austin, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. And many of you have been sending us your videos and photos all evening long. This is video, video sent in to us by Scott Hayes. It shows Mansfield Dam where three floodgates are open right now. And these pictures sent to report it at KXAN.com. It's from Lake Buchanan and Inks Dam. This was just before 7 o'clock tonight with our viewer telling us that the LCRA was just about to open another floodgate there. Here's a different look at our Highland Lake system starting up in Lake Buchanan just west of Burnett. Water flows along the Colorado River through the chain of lakes and dams into Inks Lake. Lake LBJ, Lake Marble Falls, Lake Travis, and then into Lake Austin, and eventually Ladybird Lake before leaving through Longhorn Dam.